get those spooky butts of yours ready for the 24 ghosts of Swarley Pilgrim. There are 24 ghosts in Phasmophobia, and I want to hunt them all. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the 24 ghosts of Swarley Pilgrim. We are going to jump right into it. We're going to go to Tanglewood Drive. I've been playing a lot on this house, and I'm becoming more familiar with it, so I think this will help. I'm level 17 now. Got uh, a bunch of items, and I'm ready to go. All right, so let's let's hunt a ghost and let's get it let's get it right, and we're gonna have a great time, and we're not gonna get scared or even a little bit spooked. All right, what are we doing here though? We need to find Rose Walker. Uh, cleanse the area with incense. Average sanity below 25, and escape during a ghost hunt. We probably won't really try to do any of those things. I'm gonna take the video camera, the thermometer, and a flashlight. And we're going to jump on into this house and see what's going on. I'm two levels away from unlocking the next flashlight upgrade, and I'm very excited because this one sucks. Hello? Are you home, Rose? Rose, it's me. I've come over for tea. Me and, me and you are supposed to have tea today, Rose. Are you in? It doesn't seem like they're in. You probably don't go over to someone's house with a thermometer and a flashlight in the pitch black dark uh, for tea either. I mean, I'm, I'm to each their own. If I was invited to a tea party at like 3 a.m., I think I'd still go. I don't know if I'd bring a thermometer, though. I don't think there's any point, really. But as soon as we see this, the, the temperature start to drop, we can kind of tell that, yeah, that's that's the room we're in. That's the room we're looking for. Maybe not always. There's probably some tricks and stuff like that that the ghosts can do to make you think that you're in the right room because it's cold, but I, I don't know. I'm not that experienced. Aha! Aha! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, I think we're in the right room. Ghost wanted to let us know. So we're gonna set some stuff up down here. Maybe not on the rocking chair. On this paint tin. We'll put the camera down this way, looking into the room. We'll leave the thermometer nearby by this paint tin, and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna grab some more stuff. I've been watching some other people play this as well, some people who are much, much better at the game than I am, and uh, they do a lot of their hunting and investigating with the lights on. Um, so I'm not really sure if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, and maybe that's why I'm so bad at the game, is because my sanity just drops so fast because we're constantly in the darkness. I have no idea. Let's have a look. Do we have any spirit orbs in the basement? What do we think? Small, floaty little balls floating through the sky. I don't see any, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't any. But we've got the uh, dots projector, which will show us if something walks through it or not. And we've got ourselves a book as well. So we'll see if we can get those set up and then we'll come back and have a look at the camera again. I forgot that you, you can take the house keys as well. Just, just because. Suck it, ghost. Not only are you getting investigated today, but you're also getting um, robbed as well. Sometimes the ghost can set off the car alarm, and you can't turn the car alarm off without the without the keys. I'm looking for the fuse box right now, because I'm going to try to turn the lights on. I thought it was in the garage. Turns out, tisn't. Tisn't. Oh, it must be in the basement then. It's in the basement. That would be very handy. It is. Aha! Let there be power. And then... Let there be light. Come get me now, ghost. Oh god. Do what you want. Okay, let's put the ghost book down here. Um, and let's put the dots projector over here by the camera. That should give us a nice... perspective view there. Uh, we'll check the temperatures real quick. What do we got? One degree, so not quite freezing yet, but very close. We'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Turn off that light. We'll turn on this one. We'll turn on this one. Just so our pathway to the ghost room is at least lit, so we're not losing sanity the entire time. We've got sanity medication now as well, which will uh, increase our sanity again, which just gives us a lot more time to spend in the house, which is one thing I was struggling with before. This is I just kept dying so quick. 
because I was just going insane so fast. We will sit here for a little bit and look for ghost orbs and uh, and to see if anything walks in front of this uh, dance projector. Let's see. Ooh, did you see that? That that whatever that was right here, a jug just moved all on its own. So that means there's a spooky ghosty down there. Let's go in again then with uh, some UV and a thing of salt. Let's see if we can get UV on this guy. I'm gonna put a salt pile like here. Just see if they walk through it. And then I'm gonna put a salt pile like right here. Just see if they walk through it. Oh, look at that. They did. Did you leave any footsie prints? No footsie prints. But they did walk in the sand, so that's good news. So they're, they are interacting with things in this room. And I was here when it happened, so I don't... I think that means it's not a shade. Because shades won't do things if you're in the room with them. Um, do the lights have to be off to see UV? I don't think so, but I don't... I don't know. I don't know for sure. Let's... let's see. No, there's definitely no footprints there. I still don't know either. Oh, there we go. That's UV. Okay, I was just about to say, I don't know if a ghost gives you a footprint, but it doesn't have UV. Does that eliminate UV? But apparently it does not, because there's UV right there. Lovely. Got some evidence and learned something new about the game at the same time. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So, we can check off UV. Uh... And we're shade. Okay, yeah, so it, it can't be a shade. But we kind of figured that out on our own already. Um, all right, we need to get a, we need to get some more some more intel. We're definitely not getting spirit orbs. We're definitely not getting dots. So I feel like we might be able to rule those out, but I, it's too early to do that just yet. So let's go back in. What's our sanity? Our sanity is at 75. Let's go back in with the EMF and spirit box. I'm hoping it's not going to hunt until our sanity is below 50, but... We, we might not get that lucky. We'll see. See, I would have liked to get that fingerprint. Let's just check the temperatures again real quick. Still zero, or still one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that dots? Whoa, did you see that? Whoa. It knocked the camera. Where'd the camera go? Knocked the camera right over. Holy crap, it was right next to me. I thought I saw it, and then it moved. Still no ghost writing. The EMF did jump up to at least four and a half. I didn't see it go to five, but wow. Okay. Gotta fix the camera. Let's move the camera, maybe. Let's bring the camera over here, maybe. Point it down this hallway. Oh god! Oh god! No, no, no. Okay, I don't think she can hunt us yet. But she doesn't like us being here. She's not a fan. Let's just move some stuff around. And leave. I think we got dots. I'm gonna move the book in farther. I think we got dots. Uh, did we get temperatures? Not yet. Just gonna throw this in here. Uh, let's leave. We got another footprint as well. Oh my goodness. Don't like it when that happens. Don't like that. Okay. Genuinely don't know if that was dots or not. I'd be I'd be willing to guess. I thought I for a quick second, I thought I saw a flash of like a leg walk by. I think there's a ghost that will only show itself on dots if you are in the room. Like it won't show up on dots. Oh look at that. It knocked the saw over. Okay, we gotta get in there with the EMF. I left the EMF in there. Oh shit, okay. Uh, what's our sanity? Let's take some pills. Get our sanity back up a little bit more. So at least we know we're, we should be safe. And uh, we'll see if we can get some EMF now that's moving some stuff around. We'll keep our eye on the dots while we're down here as well because that very well could be what's going on here. Where's that axe? Saw? Right here. Okay, we were too late. We've only got 30 seconds after it touches something. God, are we going to see it in that dots, I wonder? Let's try the uh, spirit box. Let's 
Okay, all right, we got spirit box. Oh, and I just knocked that hammer off the shelf. EMF of four at least. Oh, knocking something else over as well. Oh, oh God, oh God, oh, oh boy. Mm-hmm, just hanging out in a, in a basement. Mm-hmm, just basement hanging. I like your boots, ghost. Oh, I think it's time that we probably leave. I think we can suss out what it is. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, so I didn't see any dots while we were down there, but we did get spirit box. So it's either the mimic, phantom, or poltergeist. So it's not going to be EMF 5. It could still be ghost writing. It could still be freezing temperatures. It could still be dots. And it's not going to be ghost orbs. Okay. I'm leaning towards poltergeist, if I'm honest. What is the phantom do looking at a phantom will drop your sanity can certainly be faster taking a photo of the phantom will make it temporarily disappear oh. someone from Ouija boards oh maybe we can look around the house for a Ouija board I'm leaning towards poltergeist because a lot of stuff is being thrown around but other ghosts can move stuff around too so that doesn't necessarily mean anything we'll go in we'll have a look at the book we'll have a look at the writing uh, the ghost writing I'm not seeing dots um, maybe, and I guess we'll burn an incense, maybe, just to see if we can get that, um, that bonus thing. Just, why not, right? Why not? And then, uh, and then I guess we'll look around for the Ouija board. I wish I could take the camera in with me. We can get a picture of the salt footprints, and then hopefully a Ouija board if we find one. <clears throat> Where did we check? I think we checked most of the house already, though, didn't we? We didn't see a Ouija board. We weren't really looking, though. Let's, let's have a nice, let's have a good look. If you were a Luigi board, where would you spawn? Where would you spawn in? Oh, we got a pelvis. Okay, no no Luigi board. We've got a pelvis instead. If you asked for a Luigi board for Christmas and instead you got a pelvis, I think you'd be pretty upset, right? I'd be pretty annoyed. So if I like this here, oh god. Didn't, I don't like what's happening. We need to check. We need to check the temperatures and the book. Please, little girl. Okay, no book. Still no freezing temperatures. Oh my god, do we move the dots? I'm gonna move the dots. I'm gonna put the dots here on the floor. Looking up that way. I'm gonna move the camera back here on the floor. <laughs> looking that way. I think I have a tripod, but like, whatever. Okay. No, oh, God. Miss Mudge sticks. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Still no evidence. Still nothing. Is there too much stuff down there and it's just interacting with everything else and not the book? I wish I could tell if we saw dots earlier or not. I think uh, that would help so much. If we saw if we saw dots earlier, that means it's a phantom. Maybe it is dots that we saw earlier. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to just, just cut our losses here and say that it is maybe dots. All right, let's go in, grab our pelvis picture, our two pictures of the, uh, two pictures of the, uh, salt footprints, and then we'll, we'll guess phantom and get out of here. Rude! Rude! Knocking over my camera. Hold on, there's no reason not to take. Another thing is sanity pills, just in case. Just in case. And a crucifix. Can you tell I'm spooked? Hey, girl, you drop your pelvis. Don't worry, I'll pick it up for you. I'll pick it up for you. This is just the kind of guy I am, you know? You drop your pelvis, I'm going to pick it up for you. I'm chill, we're chill. We're chill, Rose. What are you doing? I'm going to... I'm gonna move this book again, okay? Whoa! Alright, that was dots. That was dots. You know what? You can keep the book. You can keep the book, Rose. Cheers, you gave me everything we needed. Wait. No, you didn't. Boom. One of that. And... Uh... One of that as well. Thanks, Rose. Cheers. Okay, that was definitely dots. That was definitely dots. 
Oh, I should have just went with my instinct from earlier. I thought I saw something, but I wasn't sure. Dots, phantom, dunzo. We got how many pictures? Okay, we got a crappy picture of a bone on a floor, and we got two three-star pictures of some salt. Pretty good, pretty good. Full sanity as well. Ah, okay. Now we just need to hope and pray that we actually guessed it right. Oh my goodness. Pray. Fingers crossed. A phantom is a ghost that can possess the living, inducing fear into those around it. They are most commonly summoned from Luigi boards, from Yawigi boards, from Waluigi. They are most commonly summoned from Ouija boards. The phantom is known to drain the sanity of those that have sight of it during a manifestation. Let's go! Big money, big money, big money! Heck yeah, dude! We got it! We got it! Look at that, a big solo win for us in a brand new series. You'd love to see it. You love to see it. We'll cross, we'll cross Phantom right off our list now. Kaching done. One ghost finished, tucked away. Level up as well. Five hundred buckaroos. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Big win. Big win all around. You love to see it. Rose tried her very hardest to spook our butts clean off, but in the end, we got the better of her. I consider the Phantom investigated.